Yes, thanks, Steve. And yet another world-class field over at the 200 metre mark for the start of this 5,000 metres. It includes the fastest man in the world in 1989, Yobish Ondieki, and the Olympic champion at this distance, John Ngugi, both from Kenya, of course. There are three Australians in the field, Malcolm Norwood, uh, Andrew Lloyd, and Pat Carroll, the three Australian representatives. But the main challenge may well come from the English runners, including the man in the foreground, that's Jack Buckner, number 337, and Mark Rowland, number 396. A withdrawal from this event is the winner of the 10,000 metres, Eamon Martin, who has a virus, the third Englishman. He has a virus and uh, he is not taking his place in the field. And it's the New Zealander Kerry Roger who goes straight to the lead from uh, Andrew Lloyd from Australia and uh, then back to Pat Carroll. And at number 396 is Mark Rowland, the English champion at this distance. And in the early stages, the three Kenyans, Ondieki, Tanui, and uh, Moses, uh, Ondieki, Tanui, and Ngugi, uh, back towards the middle of the field. Jeez. Roger's taking them out fairly quickly, Steve Monaghetti. Yes, and no one's going with him. The, the Kenyans are certainly very cagey sitting at the back, but wait for it. Something would happen very shortly. How do you expect this race to unfold? I think John Ngugi is going to break the field up by putting a, a solid lap in, probably in the middle stages, but uh, without Eamon Martin, that could, could change the, the face of the race a little bit. So Kerry Roger, number 807, the New Zealander, is leading this 5,000 metre field. He uh, set a New Zealand national record in Auckland a fortnight ago and appeared to be running in very good form, uh, but his performance in the 10,000 metres was perhaps a little bit disappointing. So now he's being wheeled in initially by Pat Carroll from Australia. He's number 42. Andrew Lloyd is still there. And uh, Roland on the inside. And now Yobish Ondieki starting to move up and he's in fifth place, followed on the outside by Ngugi. I think the best way to try and distinguish these Kenyans is to tell you that Ondieki has the red shoes, Ngugi has the yellow shoes, and Moses Tanui has no shoes. <laughs> now this is Kerry Roger, the New Zealander, and he still leads the 5,000 metres field from... Carroll of Australia, Lloyd of Australia, Roland of England, and uh, I'm just looking for Malcolm Norwood, who at this stage, the third Australian, is back towards the rear of the field, although he's starting to... Oh, and there's a fall. There's an interesting fall, and it's involved one of the Kenyans, and... Uh, Jack Buckner. And Jack Buckner, it's John Ngugi, the Olympic champion that fell. Well, that really is going to throw this race wide open now. And uh, it's Ngugi who's really starting to run hard at the back of the field, trying to make up the ground that he lost. What a tragedy for the Olympic champion, John Ngugi, who fell. And it's left Kerry Roger out in front from Carroll, Lloyd and Roland. And Ondieki is the best place to the Kenyans. Here's a replay of it, Steve. Let's have another look. And uh, down goes... Down goes Ngugi and he takes Buckner down with him. Two of the fancies in the event. Yeah, and look at him still charging back up already. This is unbelievable. Look at this. Well, there's a spirited sprint from the Olympic champion and he will now have the sympathy of this huge crowd at Mount Smart. There is no question about that. And within a lap, he's gone into the lead. And he said, well, if that's what's going to happen to me, you can earn the gold medal. If you're going to take it off me, you really are going to have to work for it now. John Ngugi, who led throughout the best part of the Olympic uh, 5,000 metre final. He doesn't have a big sprint finish. He needs to go fairly early. And they've got nine laps to run as they come down to, uh, with, uh, with nine laps to run, they go through the start-finish line, or through the finish line in this event, and they're running at a fairly reasonable pace. So with nine laps, or sorry, with eight laps to run now, as they come round the next time, we're going to take a break. Then we'll be back for the exciting concluding stages of the 5,000 metres. <laughs>
welcome back to a sensational 5,000 metre final. It's still John and Googie, the Olympic champion, that leads this field from Williams of Canada and Roland of England. Uh, remembering that Ngugi fell and had to bet, make up some 50 metres, but a further sensation uh, when uh, the number one ranked athlete in this event in the world, Yobish Ondieki, also fell, and uh, he's now struggling to stay in touch with the field. It's going to be interesting now, Steve, just to see what that sprint from uh, from Ngugi took out of him when he had to make up the ground that he lost. It certainly doesn't look like it's taken much out of him at the moment. He's starting to break away again. Well, Ondieki has got himself back into the race also, but he's a good 60, 50 or 60 metres behind uh, his teammate John Ngugi, who leads them through, and with five laps to run, seven minutes, eight minutes is, uh, is the time, and uh, so they're still running at a fairly good pace. It's John Ngugi who leads them into the back straight, the Olympic champion, and uh, let's have a look at the fall that may well have cost Jovish Ondieki any chance of winning this 5,000 metres. A sensational race here at Mount Smart. And there you see John Ngugi, the Olympic champion. Uh, he leads Williams of Canada, who ran so well in the 10,000 metres. And then uh, Roland of England. They're the three, the three leaders, and they're well out in front of uh, the next pack that includes Kerry Roger of New Zealand. And Roger is just starting to set out after the three leaders.